everything the name Can't do change in the game Doing my thing in my own lane Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches Sliding through with something super vicious Who is this? Mr. Everything's the name Can't do change in the game Doing my thing in my own lane Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches Sliding through with something super vicious Who is this? What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Everything Back with low riders and horsepower, you dig? Rain, sleet, hell, snow, and shine, nothing, and no one stops to grind. Not even the haters on the sidelines. And today, getting back into the low rider once again, trying to fix that god dang leak. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But if you have, thank you very kindly. Appreciate everybody that subscribed up to this point to get us here. But. Today is back to the low rider. You know what I'm saying? I'm um I started at the beginning of the week, so from the last video, the next day I started, you know what I'm saying, like working, trying to get the leak fixed, and then I skipped a step or missed a step. And uh so it prolonged the process of uh me fixing it because it kinda retore open the little spot where it was leaking. So now I'm at the point where uh, I'm getting back into it, and so pff, just watch what I got. Yeah, I always say that. Just, just watch what I got. Yeah, I can't even think about it. All right, y'all. We're gonna start off at day number two. Can't start y'all for day number one. Cause day number one uh, didn't start till last night, and I try not to do uh, really too much at night because the visibility. Right there, I don't got all the lighting and stuff like that. So, oh, try to show you all the best I can. If you look right here, you'll see all that gray, because that basically is the area where the dipstick was leaking, right here. Where you see dipstick, then you got this little space. It was a groove in there, and that's where it all was shooting out originally. So, I got happy. Started the vehicle up, flashed the light down there, didn't see no oil at first, then I started seeing drips. So now we done made it from a full gushing amount of oil to a drip. Now, let me show the rest of y'all some history here for all y'all that have not been watching this channel. Originally, I changed this valve cover gasket a couple years ago. Failed on that because it was leaking a whole bunch. If you look right here, down in the grooves and everything, there used to be puddles of oil down there. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, that oil is just the oil. Any oil that you see now is just oil that I just did not get up 100%. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to show you all the best way that I can. Let me zoom out a little bit. Hold on. Okay, you see a little shine right there. That's just... See the focus go away when I put my fan in there. But anyway, there's a little bit of shine from some oil in there. But that's just because I didn't get that up. But it hasn't leaked anymore from this side. So we good over here. Then that's when I started having issues over here. Now, I had an oil cap that was jacked up. So the oil cap, I replaced that. If you look back where the PCV valve is, I had already placed the, replaced the PCV valve. But the little rubber grommet that goes in there that was leaking oil too so we fixed that thing over on the left side then we started having issues here there so i fixed both of those then once i really fixed that then i found out that here when the dipstick was where the leak was coming from then as soon as now i just got drips so i don't have too much oil coming from here anymore now i got a totally different issue with the valve cover itself, when it ain't coming from here, it's coming from back here now. So every time you fix one thing, something else that's a problem rears its ugly head. So now what I've been dreading for all this time is to take all of this stuff off and put on a new valve cover. So that's where I'm at right now is to put on a whole new valve cover. And you know what? I'm gonna have to do that. So to put the valve cover on is the next move because I'm gonna still, when I come home tonight, I'm gonna get down to this again and put some more uh, of the weld stuff around the dipstick. Hopefully I can cure 
the drip. You understand what I'm saying? So once I fully fix this, then I'm going to go ahead this weekend probably and start taking apart stuff to repair the valve cover gasket. And that should stop the little bit of oil because it's bubbling at the back of the valve cover gasket. So oil is still getting on to the manifold. You know, the manifold running from all the way up here to all the way back there. So any oil leak that you have is going to get onto the god dang manifold. So that's where I'm at right now with it, y'all. It ain't easy, but it's got to get done. And I'm trying to make it to where I'm the only one who's going to get it done instead of paying a shop or a mechanic because that's where it starts to get real expensive. All right, it's been a long week. About to give y'all the rundown on how everything went after day two. So day number three, I was too tired when I got home. So I ain't do nothing. Day number four, I forgot. Just went in the house and, you know, chilled out. Day number five, just came home and ate real good. You know what I'm saying? And laid back chilling, you know? All right, now we on day number six, you know. So we, we finally getting back to work here, yeah, dig. So, uh, what I'm trying to do now is, okay, I'm trying to get close up in here. But, there's something on this dipstick, right? With the dipstick, what I didn't do in the beginning, I should have done this. Man, I just can't, I cannot get the right focus in here. Okay, if you look right there, there's a, there's a nut on the end of that bolt. And so right there where that nut is at, the dipstick has to go into there, basically. There's a hook on this dipstick. And on that dipstick, the uh, this that's how it holds into place. All right, now I really never showed y'all the process of what I do in the midst of doing this, but it's super simple. Uh, the two contents are, that you got coming out of the, uh, the little bottles are one's black, one's white. You mix them together and they turn gray. And uh, so I've applied it, trying to get y'all the best spot, but it's kind of hard. But anyway, right there, you can look right there where that nut is at. That's what ties the dipstick where it's supposed to be at. So I got plenty of that JB Weld on there. So now that I did that, I'm gonna have to let this thing sit. It typically takes about four hours for it to set, but I usually let it go just a little bit longer than that because um, I wanna make sure it's set all the way before I go to turn this bad boy back on. So I'm not even close to done yet. Um, I'll let y'all know if it held or not, y'all find out in this video. And if not, then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to apply some more. Cause if I got it down to a drip, I know that I could get this thing fixed. If it's if it's only a drip right now, I know that I could fix this thing to where it's not even dripping no more. Cause the drips is a little too fast. If it was a slow drip, I might have looked at it as a victory, but. It's a fast drip, but it's not a squirt like it was before. That thing was, you know what I'm saying? It was bleeding, you know? This thing, like, I literally took something and shot this thing, pow! And then it was just leaking, you know what I'm saying, out the side. But this is where I'm at with it, y'all. All right, y'all, day number seven. Why is it day number seven? Because on day number six, I had to do the process a little bit better the way the instructions tell you to do it versus how I originally did it. All right, now the way that it's really supposed to be done as far as putting that JB Weld and stuff on, um, you're supposed to apply it, let it sit for about four hours, and then it says let it sit for another 15 to 24 hours after that before you actually put whatever it is to use that you're applying it to. So when I originally did it on like day number two, I think all I did was um, I put it on and then I think it might have been like 
le just a little bit less than 12 hours later before I tried to start it up. And I didn't have it bolted down to the block correctly either. So that uh, actually messed it up when I originally went to put it back in place and seeing that I didn't bolt it up. So that slowed down the process as well, besides me getting busy and you, you know, you've seen it already. But anyway, now it's early and it's time to start this thing up to see if the leak is at least gone from where the dipstick is at. It's not solving like the valve cover gaskets did, you know, a little bit of that uh, oil is bubbling from under that gasket still getting on the manifold. That's a very small drip compared to the spraying of the dipstick. So, about to start this thing up right now and look and see what's going on under the hood. Alright, before I even start it, I'm going to feel down here. See the hardness of it. Oh, yeah. It's it's on there now. It's it's done hardened up. I checked it at different times and hours to see how far you know that it had got as far as how uh, hard the sealant gets uh, as it's forming. So now it's time to really start this thing up. All right, here we go. Been a minute since I started this thing. Gotta get it warmed up first, y'all. Once we get it warmed up, then we go up underneath the hood. If I try to hop out right now before it done warmed up, it's gonna be like on them old cartoons where every time you go to start it up and you hop out, it, it, it dies. So, I'll see y'all in just a second. All right, down here now, don't actually see any oil leaking from the dipstick. Now, I ain't gonna get my finger too close because I actually had something else going on down here that I didn't pay attention to. There's a small spark when it's on very low auto when you first start it, coming from this spark plug wire right here. And so you can see it, it was actually touching, I'm sorry, my hand's in the way. It was actually touching the dipstick and sparking. Now I separated it but I think it actually got stuck to the dipstick somewhere. So I'm eventually gonna have to get another set of spark plug wires just to replace this one. Or oh, I'm gonna replace them all, but you know I need, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I do not see any oil coming from the dipstick right now. Typically when you hit the gas, you can see it spray out. And it's pretty much warmed up now. Now you can see a little bit of smoke, but that is coming from right here. And that's because I actually got some of that JB Well down in that hole right there from it coming off the manifold. So I expect that to have some smoke coming out of it. But the main smoke I'm talking about was, and the oil with the, the smoke was really coming from the dipstick and it was shooting out of there. So. Now I got that oil that hits the back of the uh, manifold from the valve cover gasket that starts coming, but that ain't nothing major. I can, I can remedy that. I was talking about from the oil, when it was coming out of the dipstick, the oil was literally shooting up out of there. And so that was the biggest thing. That little bit of smoke, that ain't nothing. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit longer just to see, because if that's the case, I need to take this bad boy down the road, because uh, you can really only kind of see that exhaust because of the fact that it's cool out right now. Once it hit like over 70 degrees, you ain't gonna be able to see that a little bit. That's just a little bit of, you know, that's a little bit of fairy dust, you know what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't like the barbecue grill smoke I had before, you did. So, uh, just gonna let this thing keep running. Let me see something here. Hit the gas one more time for y'all so y'all can see it. Yeah, it ain't squirting up out of there no more. You know what's so crazy? And I always find something else. Let me see if I can zoom in on this so y'all can see what I'm talking about. It's always something else. Watch this. You see that little 
little bit of sizzling coming from right there. Oh, shit. You see that little bit? Look right there, right here. You see that little bit of bubbling coming from there? So I gotta replace whatever gasket is right there too, cause that little bit of oil, believe it or not, once you get to rolling, that oil gets on the manifold and that's what causes this to smoke. So like I said, every time you fix one thing and you think you got something done, there come another issue. So I mean, these was really just, I guess, issues that I had the entire time and never really paid attention because this thing didn't get that much uh, road action, you dig? So uh, for right now, I still don't see no smoke coming from that dipstick. I mean, not smoke, I still don't see any actual uh, oil coming from the dipstick. So I say, this one was a victory. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that exhaust coming out the back. I think I might actually take this thing up the road today. I'm gonna see what it's like. Cause you really ain't gonna know what's what until you put this thing on the road. Once you put it on the road, then you'll get a chance to see is that smoke, is it gonna look like a barbecue grill once it gets hot? Cause that's what the million dollar uh, question and answer is that, you know, so I'll put it on the road to see if it smokes, but I wish I would have recorded it so y'all can see how bad it was smoking and leaking out before. I, I do have a small video of that, but I think it was, uh, you really couldn't see it that much on the camera. It was just a bunch, you know, a look, look like dust from the camera shooting all over the place. But before, this whole, even over here to the fender, was oiled up. And I thought it was originally coming from the brakes, but then I sealed that off. And I mean, I had oil everywhere on this side, and it was all coming from this dipstick. Could not find this dipstick, looked online. You know, every type of marketplace they got, and could not find it. All right, y'all. That's the end of the mission on this one. So, I hope everything stays together. By the next video, you're going to know whether this stuff actually held up or not. Because I let it run for a little while. But it's not until you actually put this engine under a load as far as, you know, acceleration. Driving it around for a while. And then we'll know what we really got. So, y'all going to have to stay tuned until next time find out what's really going on rain sleet hell snow shine nothing no one stops to grind not even the haters on the sidelines i right, mr everything bringing y'all low rise horsepower you dig till next time i'm out